Hello, and welcome back to the PBIS Rewards Discovery Series. Let's quickly review customizations. This will detail administrative options available for your school. I will also discuss customizations available for teachers at the end of this video. Let's begin by looking for settings on the left-hand side of the screen. Here, you will find many customizable administrative settings available for your school. From the School Information tab, which will open for you when you click Settings, we can change any school information and put it into the system, such as the school name, the type of school, the store name, how you will label your points, and the decision as to whether your school will call raffles a raffle or a drawing. Additionally, you can edit the school address here or the grade levels taught within your school from this screen. Next, Let's look at the in-session calendar setup. We get to our in-session calendar by finding it on the left-hand side of the screen and selecting in-session. Once we do, this calendar will pop up. The in-session calendar will allow you to select the days you are out of school. This is beneficial as it helps to keep your data managed and accurate. The calendar would default to show the regular school week, Monday through Friday, with school being out on Saturday and Sunday. From this screen, you can easily select a day that you will not have school and then click Save to store that as a day school will not be in session. Let's do this together with Labor Day on September 6, 2021. First, we will find that day. By clicking that date and then pressing save at the bottom right hand side of the screen, we will see this day is no longer a part of the school year. You will repeat this process until you have selected all of the days you will not be in school and then click save at one time. You don't need to do this individually for each day you will be out of school. If a date has been selected in error, you can simply highlight that day again and press save for it to default back to a normal school day. Let's do that with the date we just selected. Again, we will select this day and then click save and it will come back to being a normal school day in the system, as you can see here. This calendar can be updated anytime during the school year to accommodate school closings due to inclement weather, etc. Next, let's look at the options tab available for you right here. The options tab provides many features that the administrator may control. These include several categories, including rewarding, as you see here, the student portal, the student dashboard, as well as parent messaging. Administrators can choose which of these features will be available from this screen. Next, let's look at daily point goals found right here. From this screen, administrators can set the goal for classroom staff, support staff, and they can select their goals for their students. You may also specify the daily point cap or disable this feature altogether. Check-in, check-out options are also available from this setting screen by clicking here. In this section, you can assign a maximum number of goals, change the point system for check-in, check-out, add or remove goals, and assign check-in, check-out coaches. ARS customization is available by clicking here. From this screen, administrators can edit or add locations as well as problem behaviors or adjust the order of these problem behaviors to meet the needs of your school. Redirections can also be edited or added in this section here. 
possible motivations, administrative actions and responses, and minor problem behaviors can also be edited from this screen. Administrators can also determine what they want to call major and minor referrals, decide what kind of referrals your staff can complete, and set up notifications for administrators. We can also determine how many minor infractions will be archived or shown from this screen. Let's go back to the home screen to review teacher level customizations available to you. From your home screen, we will select the groups tab and choose your group. We will then click on settings in the upper right hand corner. From here, we will see the teacher level customizations available to you. These include the size of the font, how loud the alert will be, and how you will sort your students by last name or by first name. We can also add students to our group by selecting settings and edit group. From here, we can add students or remove students from our groups. Thank you for joining us today to review customizations. Please come back next time to learn more about check-in, check-out and tiered interventions.